Hi, this is Kavi Rana from Logistics Insider and with me is Mr. Rajat Rungta. He's Head Supply Chain Strategy and Network Planning, Reliance Retail. Uh, welcome to Techlog Innovate, sir. Hi. Uh, Hi. I have seen you uh, in the panel and you were talking about how customer-centric uh, technologies uh, you know, are actually emerging. So my question is going to be about that. How do you think, or what is do you think the importance of adopting a customer techno uh, center technology in today's day and time? See, it's very important because there's a lot of uh, uh, pressure on the supply chain heads today to meet uh, the customer demands. And customers have been, you know, with uh, the advent of technology and with all these e-commerce, quick commerce coming in, mm -hmm. there's a lot of customer expectation that has been built in. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, so in terms of if I talk about uh, the dimensioning of these service capabilities, it's around reliability, responsiveness, agility, mm -hmm. uh, and also coverage. Yeah. And the added pressure on us is to, uh, to optimize cost also, while providing mm -hmm. the best benchmarks to my customers. True. So without technology, it's not possible to meet. Uh, in earlier world where uh, sub, uh, supply chain was more of a supporting function, it was possible. But mm -hmm. today, uh, uh, apart from the fact that it's not a, no longer an operational function, it's a more a strategic function. Yeah. So it's very important for me to use technology to mm -hmm. offer those kind of uh, service levels which the customers demand. Yeah. I think also it is uh, today rather than meeting customer demands, it's about exceeding their demands and expectations. Absolutely. People want so, deliveries to be there in 10 minutes. Yeah. Ka bara minute ho jata tha, they're not happy with it. Yeah, that's true. So that's Good. a kind of, uh, uh, you know, customer demand, demanding customers yeah. we have today. Yeah. And then there's a lot of emphasis on personalization. Mm -hmm. So people want slotted deliveries, people want, want deliveries at a particular time, people yeah. want everything to be delivered at their home and their pin codes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, apart from, and if you don't have that tech backbone to support uh, mm -hmm. your entire warehousing, transportation function and last mile delivery, you yeah. will not be able to meet. Yeah, that's true. So, well, we have quite well established that technology is now the core of every supply chain and operations. So, my next question to you is, which tech is going to be the most impactful and which tech is a clear winner in your eyes for the future of supply chain? Uh, see, all most of the texts today which are coming in have their own uh, importance, but uh, from from a very uh, supply chain head point of view, from if I see it from the function of uh, a supply chain head, mm -hmm. I think one technology which I'm really looking forward to, which will be the future, is the next stage of track and trace, which is going to be telematics. Okay. So track and trace is like has become a, a very very indispensable technology today, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but the, some of the pain points still remain. For example, what is my driver behavior? Mm -hmm. Why has he taken uh, long stoppages? And telematics answers most of the things all along reliability of my service, responsiveness, uh, even my cost because mm -hmm. if there's vehicle idling, I, I can catch that. If there's yeah. a problem in driver behavior, I can catch that. Mm -hmm. uh, so safety is another uh, parameter which comes into account. So. If I see telematics, it's a solution which will impact my reliability of service, my mm -hmm. responsiveness, uh, my safety, as well as my cost. Yeah. So that's one thing I'm really looking forward to. And in future, I think telematics will be a go-to technology yeah. for supply chain. So for you, telematics is a clear winner for yes. you know, satisfying the customer and meeting supply yes. chain. There, there are some others, but I think they're a little too futuristic. If I talk about a talk from an Indian, Indian point of view because we are still a developing country mm -hmm. so when we talk of AR VR we talk of digital twin these sound yeah. good but uh, in in coming future will they mm -hmm. be uh, will they be very very active I, I have my doubts around that so yeah. we'll still take time to be there mm -hmm. uh, to generalize these to make them a commodity uh, but no. today if I see uh, the adoption uh, if I, from from an adoption point of view I, I think telematics is something which can be adopted well, that was put very beautifully. Now, coming to my last and final questions, how did you like uh, Techlog Innovate? And it was an awesome session. Sorry, please. Yeah, yeah, and your takeaway. Uh, so, it was a very, very informative session. We had, mm -hmm. uh, I think, three sessions. Uh, at least I attended three, uh, including mine. And the discussions were extremely enriching. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the quality of participants, the discussions were amazing. Uh, and I would really look forward to attending these sessions again. Uh, because they had so much of learning and so much of uh, 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 different perspectives on offer. 
So really looking forward to it and very well. I mean, I must congr congratulate you and your team for holding such a nice session well, for us. Thank you, sir. It is, um, you know, the presence of speakers like you support us in these events that makes it successful. Thank you so much. So it was a pleasure having you and thank you for this candid chat. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, Kandri. Thank you.